I shot two targets, 20 rounds each today before the target I'm going to show you. Both of them grouped low right. So for the third target of 20 rounds, I made a change and I decided to hold high left and uh, see how that would work with this last target without making any changes to the zero on the site. So I want to show you how this oh, went. I'll show you all 20 rounds. The uh, only other change I made was I cleaned an ink blob off of the Holison site right in the center on the front surface of the lens. And uh, that was bothering me a bunch on Tuesday, and I think it contributed to some of the some of the poor shots I had because today gun grouped uh, really well and I didn't make any changes other than removing that blob and uh, having a little trigger time from Tuesday. So this Thursday target's pretty good. I've got this split into two five-shot groups for the ten-shot sequence. And... Uh, You'll see this was a six and a quarter inch group for the first five and a five and a quarter inch for the second five. And then I went to uh, the second ten shots. And uh, again, the first five in red and the second five in orange. So the first five uh, grouped a little bit left. And I think this is psychologically just... Uh, not knowing exactly where to place the dot. Uh, since I'm holding high left and the dot kind of overlaps the bullseye in the, in the corner there. But uh, I did the best I could. And the last five shots were really good. And uh, I was very happy with this. And it was, it's the first time that I've had the best groups on the last uh, target of the day. Usually I have the best groups on the first target or the second, but this one was good and that just means I had a lot less eye strain today than I usually did. So I was very, very happy to get four good groups today with the little P10S.